New evidence now in the drowning death of actress Natalie Wood. Investigators say they have some new witnesses and new suspicions. And investigators now say her then husband, Robert Wagner, is a person of interest. KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom is live in downtown LA, where a news conference just wrapped up. Cara? Yeah, and detectives here say they are making a final push to solve this decades old mystery about Natalie Wood's death. Today they said there are new witnesses, but what they have learned from those witnesses just doesn't add up. People don't think their information or what they know might be might not be important. Well, it was in this case, and uh, it's helped us recreate some of the timeline and what happened on that weekend. And then uh, right up to the point where Natalie Wood ends up uh, going into the water. And these are old photos of the Hollywood power couple. Detectives say they now believe actor Robert Wagner, who was Wood's husband at the time, was the last to see her alive that night. They also say new witnesses who come forward claim to have heard and seen a fight between Wood and Wagner on the back of the yacht the night she disappeared, and that their accounts don't match Wagner's recollections. The couple had been on the yacht, The Splendor, with actor Christopher Walken and the yacht's captain. That captain said there was a lot of alcohol and tension, with Wagner upset by what he thought was Wood flirting with Walken. Deputies also say bruises noted by the coroner seem to be consistent with assault and that they want to talk with Wagner again. They say the actor, who's about to turn 88, has refused requests for an interview and can't be required to come in. Not in the United States of America, we can't. You know, he can, he can say, uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. So, and that's his right. We understand that. And we've tried to talk to him. And so far, he's uh, uh, didn't want to, he doesn't want to talk to us. Now, as far as walk-in, he hasn't really spoken much throughout the years, but police say he did speak with uh, detectives again uh, and said he was asleep when all of this unfolded. Juan, uh, Sandra, we can tell you as well that at this point, the detectives here today stressed that no charges are pending. At this point, they're simply trying to figure out what happened. All right, Cara, thanks for the update. A lot of new information coming out today. We appreciate it.